Hello, Flame community. This is Jeff Kyle with the Flame Learning Channel. If you've been looking for a faster and simpler way to bring DaVinci Resolve grades into Flame, then get ready for a brand new edition that could very well change the way you work. The Flame 2025.2 update brings us a Resolve OFX plugin developed by the Blackmagic Design team, allowing us to apply grading work created in Resolve directly in our Flame timeline or inside of Batch. In this video, we'll be covering how this new OFX plugin works, how to install it, how it works inside of Resolve, and how it works inside of Flame. This OFX workflow starts in Resolve, where each shot's grade is exported as a DRX file. These files hold all the grading information for individual shots, information as advanced as keying, tracking, grain, and other effects, going far beyond the limitations of a LUT. As long as Resolve and Flame are using the same source footage and color management, Flame can read these DRX files to apply the grade directly on the timeline or in batch, using Flame's processing to render the grade just like any other timeline effects or batch node. The benefits of this would clearly involve significant time savings compared to rendering and transferring entire graded timelines. It's also a simple exporting process. There are no complex settings or file formats to manage. However, while there are clear benefits, there are a few potential challenges. Some Resolve effects, like Temporal Tools or Magic Mask, are unsupported, so you do have to be a little careful with how the colorist has chosen to work to ensure the grade is applied as it was intended. Compared to a traditional online finishing workflow, there is some additional setup that needs to take place on the Flame side, and if the color management in Flame doesn't match the color management that took place in Resolve, then you might find the grade doesn't quite match. And finally, at this time, there is a keyframe misalignment issue when working with segments with head handles. Since this is the first release of such a plugin, we're hopeful that over time, as the Blackmagic team receives feedback and feature requests from us, certain workflows will see some improvement and the process will become even more seamless. But for now, let's take a look at how it all works. This workflow requires the studio version of Resolve to be installed and licensed on your Flame workstation. This feature is new to Resolve 19, so you'll need to upgrade to at least that version to take advantage of this integration. Installing the OFX plugin takes place during the installation of Resolve Studio. I'm working on a Mac, but the process should be the same regardless of your operating system. During the installation process, when you get to the Installation Type section, you'll want to select the Customize button on the bottom left, and then ensure you select the DaVinci Resolve OpenFX Renderer before hitting Install. Once Resolve is installed, it needs to be licensed before we can take advantage of the OFX renderer in Flame. And as a small note, if Resolve becomes unlicensed at any time, you will have to explicitly open Resolve and re-authenticate with your license before the Flame OFX integration will continue to work. Here in Resolve, once the grade is complete, each shot needs to have its grade saved as a still into the gallery before it can be exported. This can be done one by one or all at once by right-clicking on the viewer and selecting Grab All Stills and choosing a thumbnail option. By default, these grab stills use a track.segment.version naming convention, which might work for you as is, but depending on your workflow, you might want to add maybe the clip name to help down the road to know what grade is associated with what shot. We could name them ourselves manually, but luckily there's a setting for that. If we head to the Project Settings and then the General Options tab, under the Color section, there's an option to automatically label gallery stills using a set of criteria that we can choose. Note that you can get as advanced as you need with custom tags, but I'll keep it simple in this video and select Clip Name, and I think appending the still number to the prefix will work best for me in my case since I only have one timeline, and that would get my stills in timeline order. With that set up, I'll delete the stills I grabbed a minute ago and grab all those stills again, and we can see the labels are all filled out for us, so I'll shift select all these stills, right click, and before we export, I'll need to indicate that I'd like to use the labels when I export these stills. With that set up, I'll right click again and select export, which gives us the option to save our DRX files. Now that we have those DRX files out, let's see how easy it is to bring Resolve's grading work into the Flame timeline. Here we are in Flame, and at this stage, we'll need to have built the same timeline that Resolve had been using, ideally on the very same footage Resolve is using. 
Theoretically, I would have received the same prep that Resolve received to build the timeline here in Flame. As a tip, it can be extra helpful to encode any camera raw into a simpler intermediate and use that intermediate as the basis for both the Flame and Resolve work, since it can occasionally be a bit challenging to align both Resolve's color management and Flame's color management on camera raw files. In my case, I've chosen to transcode the R3D camera source into ProRes 4444 just to keep it simple. The ProRes was the basis for my grading in Resolve and my timeline here in Flame. Since I'll be using Resolve's DRX files to handle applying the color grade, I won't need to set up any color management inside of Flame, mostly because I used an output color space of Rec. 709 inside of Resolve. Now, since the OFX plugin is installed, the timeline is built, and the DRX files are ready for me, we can go into our first shot in the timeline. I'll head to the Effects ribbon, pull out an Open Effects Timeline Effects, load the Blackmagic Design Resolve Renderer OFX, double click the newly created Timeline Effects to head into the Effects tab, select Effect File Path, and load the first DRX file. Once it's loaded, I can exit this menu here, and when I scrub the shot, I can see the grade has been applied. As an important note, since Resolve applies its grading before any timeline transforms, we'll need to ensure we do the same in Flame. This means that if there are any editorial transforms we need to match, we'll only be able to use Action to do so since the Resize node can't be ordered after the OpenFX Timeline effects. So I'll make that adjustment here with my Action node. Just as a sanity check and a proof of concept, I'll drop in an export of the graded timeline from Resolve to see if what I'm applying here is a match, and from what I can see, it's a match so far. I'll head back to the Effects tab to be able to quickly run through the rest of these clips, selecting the first Open Effects Timeline Effects, shift selecting the rest of the shots in my timeline, and dragging that Resolve Open Effects Timeline Effects onto all of them. Now, I'll just have to ensure I replace the DRX I copied with the correct DRX for each segment. And as I do, we can see the segments have the grade applied as easy as that. Updating the grade is just as easy as you would expect. If I switch back to Resolve, head to the shot with the tracked mask, adjust the color of that mask just as a proof of concept, right-click on the viewer and select Grab Still, find that still in the gallery, and export it just like we did before. If I switch back to Flame, head to that same shot, Navigate to the Resolve OFX, double click, select Effect File Path, choose the newly updated DRX, and exit this area here, we can see that the grade has been updated as easy as that. This integration means no more waiting for rendered files or dealing with mismatched media, just seamless collaboration, and that is an exciting prospect to me. For scenarios involving the same graded sources in multiple deliverables, the Resolve OFX workflow fits perfectly into the connected conform. Syncing the timeline effects will send the grades from this sequence to any other sequence with shared connections without any hassle at all. In batch, the process is not too different from what we just saw in the timeline. I have a shot here that's been graded in Resolve, and the range here in batch matches the range that was graded. If I pull out the OFX node, set it to Blackmagic Design and Resolve OFX, connect it to my camera source, and load the DRX for this shot, we can see that the grade has been applied. This kind of flexibility has a lot of potential. It allows us to complete various compositing tasks either before or after the grade. It gives us the ability to go far beyond the capabilities of a normal LUT for viewing a shot in the context of the grade. And it certainly acts as a great way to reduce the volume of media needed when we need to apply ungraded work to a final grade. If you like these videos and you're finding them helpful, please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel and click the bell to stay notified about new content. Feel free to comment any questions or suggestions below. Until next time, thanks a bunch for watching.